Hello guys, and welcome to Greg's Channel 1. I am Greg, and this is Channel 1. Uh, I've just watched episode 3 of uh, Zoo. Uh, the episode was called The, the Silence of the Kakadas. And, wow. I think I've found my favourite character at the moment, which is Mitch Morgan. He's witty. It's brilliant. Um, and in this episode, there was a lot of character development, mainly for the um, bonds of the groups that you've got. And you got the introduction, the real introduction of Gaspard Alves, who... He's very unnerving. Um, the main things that they went through, you had Abraham and Jackson. Um, off to, they managed to make it to Tokyo. I didn't think that they would. I thought that they'd die. I thought they'd, you know, be on their way and they'd be brought down and they wouldn't make it, or something like that. But um, getting to Tokyo. Um, then they decide that, you know, they, they, in their search for the flash drives, they encounter um, Jackson's father, Robert's new wife, Mino, Minako, or something like that, I think it was. Um, Minako, Minako, Monaco, Manico, Mino, something like that. <laughs> um, and they uh, decided that they were going to go to. Um, where he was doing his research, which was near Fukushima. Now, if you know anything about Japan and Fukushima, you know that it was nuked. It's one of America's biggest um, attacks on Japan during the war with them. Um, and they pretty much nuked the place, so the radioactive um, radiation was going to be a thing for the characters to encounter and um, yeah that was really interesting because you then found bats flying higher than they should be able to and tearing down an entire plane by themselves it was it was terrifying <sighs> You know, just watching all that happen, you were kind of going, oh my god. Um, it also cuts to um, Chloe and Gaspard. Uh, you don't see too much of Chloe this episode, which, considering how much they developed the last episode, I kind of understand. Um, because, they, you know, they can't just um, uh, develop her all the time and stuff like that. more comfortable um, and she's obviously shown the body of um, the Bradshaw bloke who um, who had died who had been killed by dogs in the previous episode um, and so obviously Chloe was kind of like dogs really what the hell it seemed like everything was going to get worse and worse um, you then ended up with her admitting to work with him. You then go to um, Mitch and Jamie, and Mitch and Jamie do their their part of the story where they go to um, Louisiana to talk to the Senate. You find out that the reason why Jamie is so against um, Raiden go Raid Ra Ugh. Raiden Global, the um, big giant company thing, is because of the fact that they had kind of killed, they'd, they'd kill, it is believed that through experience, experiments that they were using, they'd killed 26 people uh, by causing cancer to happen, kind of thing. Um, it, it was nice to see that she isn't just. Um, you know, hard ass. That she was actually quite a soft, and almost vulnerable. Uh, she wasn't totally vulnerable. Uh, Mitch was 
very Mitch, Mitch is fun. I, I like him. He's a very good character. He's dry. He's dry with his sarcasm and wit, and I like it. I think it's really. I think it really adds to the show. Because he's just dry wit. You've got Jamie, who's kind of the. You know, she's that gutsy, ballsy woman that's like, yeah, I'm a badass. Hopefully. <laughs> And you know you kind of expect her to get involved in stuff soon. I, I hope to I hope to see her kind of ha having a, you know an encounter like um, Gaspar, uh, not Gaspar, um, like Jackson and Abraham and Chloe. You know that that I think that would be something to really do with Mitch and uh, Jamie. It'd be brilliant. Um, but yeah, their section was great because um, when they're in Louisiana, the senator pretty much just goes, "Yeah, I can't beat him. I can't beat Raiden, so I'm not going to help you." And he just got Jamie going. Well, my life's my life's over then. And Gaspard shows about and bloody no way. He's like, "I am man," in, and it's the dry humor from, um, Mitch, in the scene where Mitch meets him that just makes Mitch so brilliant. It's, um... Oh, uh, some... You know, um... Because he's talking to him. Fancy talking guy in a fancy suit that knows things. And you want me to help you? Why? <laughs> it's like... He's, he, he's getting involved in this. He's just like... He's just tearing people apart. They, they, they don't know what they're doing. So it's brilliant. It's such fun. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's 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 great watching all of that happen. Um, you then obviously got. <sighs> Those of us at work and now I'm on holiday, so you're probably going to see videos up a bit more regularly. Um, then it goes back to Jackson and our uh, Jackson and Abraham and Gaspard pretty much saves them because they're practically about to start getting lots of radiation and um, then the ending happens and the ending was pretty cool oh and the other part of the story of this episode was um, this guy was on death row and these wolves are just kind of walking around you, know, you keep seeing this one wolf for most of the episode and then right near the end a pack of wolves just come out of nowhere and tear people apart tear the tear the officers and the prisoners apart and this one guy that was about to die that day he just stood there watching as the place burns it's amazing um, I wonder whether he's going to become an important character maybe you know, or whether he's just going to be a guy that like um, in the previous episode, you know, Al Al Aldraz and the girl, we won't see again. Maybe, but um, he 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 could be interesting if if he stays another couple of episodes or something. Um, but yeah, Gaspard has got Jamie and Mitch already sat down. Introduces Oz, uh, introduces Jackson and Abraham. Like, okay, hello, hello. It's then some FBI bloke comes out whose name we don't know yet. He comes out. He's like, "You are now my team, my team of five, and it's, there's only four of us." And then Chloe walks through, and it's like, "Yeah, I forgot to bring this woman out. You are my task force." He's like. Ah, let's see. Now, this is where it's either going to lose me, and I'm going to be going, oh, God, or I'm going to love it. If they can get this all right, then this is going to be fantastic. If they, if they don't get it right, I probably won't make it. I, I might make it to the end of the season just to see whether it improves. But if by the end of the season it's not improved, then... Mm -mm. Anyway, my rating for this episode, it's a 4.4. 4. 
Not quite as good as the last episode or the first episode, but it's still pretty strong. And I did quite like it. Uh, Mitch kind of kept it up there because Mitch... <laughs> Mitch is my favourite character at the moment. And I hope they don't kill him in the next episode, otherwise that's going to be a pain in the freaking ass. But as soon as they've all been brought together, I get the feeling they're probably going to last at least to the end of the season. And, you know, season two is probably where, if anything's going to happen, it's going to happen. Um, hopefully, Gaspar does something that isn't... I am going to be sounding really strange and very much mysterious and make everyone go, what does this guy actually do? Anyway, good episode, great episode. Um, I'm just a, I, I'm going to be watching the fourth episode, which is called Pack Mentality, which makes me think that maybe the wolves are going to be in this one as well. Now that would be pretty awesome. You know, pull over animals from a previous episode and pull them into a follow-up episode. That could work. Anyway, uh, thank you very much. If you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe here or here, or wherever it is. Um, leave uh, leave your thoughts and opinions, your suggestions, um, what you think of the characters and stuff like that, and the, the story and all that kind of stuff. Comment section below. Um, other than that, I got nothing else to say. But cheers.